Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play some more Empyrean. So we are back, and uh, so today I want to build a big base in space, like a station like this, uh, but just above Haven, because I want to be crazy and strange, and that's what I've decided. So uh, we're going to do just that. So uh, basically, if we hit F2 here... Um, I had two of them made. I had this one for ages, you probably noticed, but then I found out somebody made the same base, but a bigger version of it. It's their own modification of it, making it a lot larger and bigger and long term. And I thought, well, screw it. I want that. Now, you probably notice these, like they're my blueprints that I've made kind of thing, or at least like, you know, uh, and the only reason I modify these was I took the posters out of them. So that's that's the only thing uh, that's different on them. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm thinking of putting this big one anyways, right above Haven. Um, and we have a new ship to take there, so let's uh, show you that one as well while we're here. So we have this guy, which we've just basically never used, which is kind of funny. Um, and then I have this new ship, which I thought would be my like kind of my drone, you know, moving around ship. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty badass one. Look at this thing here. It's upside down right now, so let's go like this. So it's got lots of turrets on this thing. Uh, for for self-defense, really good thrusters, like, so you can go to, like, I think even a 5G planet without, you know, having to worry about lifting your load and stuff, which is awesome. Um, and this is your, your cockpit, which is really cool, because look at all the the view you have on here. This is not a fighter ship, by the way. Like, once your shields are down, you're probably going to be screwed. You could probably run away if you're careful, but, you know, it's not, uh, it's not obviously a, a fighter ship. Um, I guess it screwed up when I turned the power on. There you go. And then inside here, uh, we have uh, a few things here. So this is my new, uh, like, fighting ship, basically. This is the night. Here, I'll turn it on. Does this one have the thing? I guess it's not enabled right now. It has these silly things you can do, but I guess it's not on right now. But anyways, this is the night train reforged. And uh, this thing has a ridiculous amount of plasma cannons. So I thought this would be a good way to farm drone parts. I did test it out a bit and it seemed to be working really well, but it's like kind of boring doing drone parts. Um, I think I, what I need to do is get uh, some upgrades for myself so I can, you know, stand the heat on that planet. And that way I can say like, come out of here and stand on top of this and then drone around and collect the parts without having to like, you know, destroy, then run into the CV and back and forth. I need something a little easier than that. And there's just my regular miner, so I can collect gold. Basically, I made this ship literally to go to those drone planets for now. Uh, so if we go all the way this way, uh, you got a little elevator here, comes up here. I guess my, I keep hitting J and it doesn't work. That's because it's down, I guess. Uh, where is the gravity generator? There we go. Now we should be able to hit J. So, yeah. So let's go back here. So there's lots of storage in here. This is your engine room, I guess you could call it. Look at the drive thrust on the back, which is kind of cool to see that in the back here. Um, but yeah, so some access here to your, your back. You got more stuff over here, more thrusters. You got your advanced generator here. And you got another one here. Look at that. So this is getting you access to where you need to go critical spots. Um, I didn't actually know there was an upper over here. But uh, yeah, apparently there is. Oh yeah, here's our uh, protection. They even have an offline protection thing. Then the gravity generator. I didn't actually know about this room. And I've been in the ship a bit already. So <laughs> it's already got a few kilometers on it. Uh, but yeah, lots of storage, you know, different types of storage here, but uh, you can see all the different dumps of storage here. I think there's like eight or so, or maybe six, it's six to eight. I didn't count them up. And then this is towards your front of your ship here. So you got your different levels. So we do have another ship here actually right now. So this is the one that can warp around in a solar system I use just to investigate things, which we did on the one episode, I believe. But it can fit in here. It kind of is a tight squeeze, but it was just funny that it does fit up here. It is it is a hangar. It's just like a small little hangar for smaller ships to fit in here. And I thought that was kind of cool. Just a little extra room for you. So that's pretty cool. And then up here is your main... Uh, your main cockpit here it's getting all screwed up because we're close to everything else so i guess the gravity is just going wonky here but uh, even has a teleporter which is awesome and then if you go out here this is your exit out of here 
But if you go right here, you got a crew area on this side. So the crew area, you know, you got your food and just place to sit, sit and whatever. And then uh, your bathroom, etc. Ah. Sorry, yeah, with the gravity here, it's kind of wonky. Let's let's move the ship, shall we? There you go. It doesn't go backwards super fast compared to forwards, but that's because it doesn't have forward drive throw uh, thing. Okay, so that should work now. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so yeah. Looks pretty cool. I like the how big the the view is and stuff. And then on this side, you got your you know your things like your oxygen, blah blah blah. Outside again, but on this side you have medical, which goes into this room here. So you get all your medical attention you need. There's even another access here. You can go back out over here. And then uh, there is one more thing. I think it's on this side. I didn't show you. And there's a repair a repair thing here. So I think it's here. Yeah, right here. And there's a repair console. I guess it's one of these spots. I think it's that one over there. It's in the middle of that. But uh, yeah, so you have the repair console. So you can go ahead and repair your ships as well that you uh, have on here. So I think that's pretty cool. Oh, here's another access here. So this is your, your capacitors and things like that. Your advanced warp drive. So that's pretty cool. Your advanced shield. So yeah, it's a pretty nice ship. It does what I need, and uh, I like it. It's pretty good maneuvering, and like I said, uh, this thing rocks when you go to uh, the planets there, um, the, the heavy 4G planets, things like that, to farm the drones, and then it has enough protection to fight off any kind of uh, you know drone attacks that it might receive, so that's pretty cool. So we're going to go to Haven here. And yeah, we're going to build this new base in, basically in Haven. Now we should probably grab some resources here to put in here. Like, we're going to need some fuel and stuff like that to be fair. So maybe we should get closer to the main base here. I'm just thinking we're going to want some supplies, right? So uh, we're going to go here and oh, look, at you already have some basic stuff here, which is pretty cool. Let's check out here because I know you'll have a bunch of like these guys I'll probably want to take to manufacture fuel. Uh, just because then I can bring up the things. Oh, yeah, look at all the air tanks. I don't actually need to, you know what? I don't actually need to worry about the air tanks because I can get, you know, a bunch uh, from the planet, which I will do that today. But we need to go through and find, I'm pretty sure I have more of the fuel. Ah, oh, yeah, here you go. I was going to say, I need more fuel, so. And we're going to make more fuel anyway. So here's more. Yeah, I might as well just throw these over here. Um, we're going to go and get like hydrogen from the planet. And uh, get a lot from that. So there you go. Now the key here is what you're going to want to do is you're going to warp from here. You're, uh, actually, this might be the worst location. Oh, no. This is kind of the trade area is kind of around the star, right? You want to warp from the star to the planet, basically, because the idea is you want to place the base, basically, right, you know. Yeah, so that's pretty much where it is, so that's not a bad deal. So you want to go over here, and you want to place your station pretty much right in the middle of Haven here. And this way, you, it just, I think it would have a nice, it's just going to be a nice little spot for it, right? Right at the top, right in the middle, and it's kind of, we're going to do it nice and close, so you kind of get like a nice vista view of Haven itself from the, uh, the, the, the space, uh, the space station. Today is not a day for words. So, like, even think about how close we are now and, like, just the view you get, right? So, get a little closer here and we'll have a kick-ass view. Yeah, I'm thinking around, like, about a kilometer. Even that's pretty darn close, but yeah. Okay. I like how fast it stops because of the drive thruster. Yeah, okay. That's pretty cool. Okay, so we're going to go out here. And then we'll just take one of these side doors now if we can. Oh, yeah, so when, every time you get out of this, you're actually facing the back, like the opposite way. It's, it's kind of dumb. I don't know if that's if I can replace a seat or something and fixes that or that's just how that seat works or what's going on, to be honest. 
but it's all right. And then, of course, you want to put the solar panels. It has a bunch of solar panels, so you want to put towards the star. And so if we go here and just make sure it's the right one, it is going to go. Oh, gosh, look at that leg. Um, it is going to go towards uh, the, the, the solar panels are already facing that way, so you don't really have to worry. But I'm just saying, you know. It's awesome how big this thing is. Like, you don't. Oh, it's just going to go over that? I don't even know how that's possible, but maybe it's not that close, even though it looks that close. There you go. So we just want to put it... Yeah, here's your star right there. So we'll just put it like that. I don't know if that would be exactly right, you know, but it's pretty damn close. And there you go. So there's our new base. So pretty darn big. And, well, it's got solar panels, so it's going to get all the energy you need basically from the star. And then you can put some backup fuel into it as well if it needs it. But, uh, yeah. Like I said, this thing is huge. Now, it doesn't have... It should have gravity generator, or they might be off by default. But I just thought, like, look at your view now up here. This is really cool. So let's figure out the gravity generators here. Gravity generator. It is not on. Now it is on. Okay, there we go. So it's got a teleporter, which is awesome. So, you know, like I said, your view here, well, that's a pretty ba badass view, right? So you got the view of the planet there. Here's your generator, or your, sorry, teleporter. Uh, you got some basic oxygen stuff. Now, this place is really big. I've never done an on-ground view of it. I've basically only been here. Um, oh, this is so freaking cool. So you need your suit out here. But this is like your, your maintenance area kind of thing, I guess, if you need to get down here. Uh, your controller, all your, you know, like, controllers and stuff like that. It's a big station, right? So, I think they that's a really cool feature, though. Like, just kind of this walking out here. Now, this is not meant for, like, PV, you know, PvP or PvE or whatever. There's no weapons at all in here, so you want to put it in a safe space. You can put weapons on it, obviously, after if you like. But, uh, just letting you know, there's no weapons on it. But, uh, yeah, oops, I guess we were able to arrange the generator here. Oh, yeah, we are here, too. Wee, there we go. Very cool. Here's one of the access things here. We can go back up. Very cool. Neat. Okay, so, and then, yeah, these go to multiple levels. So, um, I guess that's... Not a level? Oh, this might be a level right here. Okay, here you go. So this is a constructor array here, obviously. Got lots of uh, constructors. So you can do different tasks. I guess those are more... What are those ones? Are those the constructors up there? They might be deconstructors, yeah. So you got deconstructors if you want to spam a bunch of that. But very cool. Enough to do a lot of stuff. Oh, here you are. Locker room. And then you got, what, CPU room here? Or a room. But isn't that cool? I thought that would be kind of cool having the view there. Could have gone closer, to be honest. But I think just a bit further gives, you know, a little bit more, you know, a better view, I think, of the planet. Which I think is really cool. I thought I was supposed to say, like, which room or whatever. But maybe... Oh, here we go. This must be the CPU room. Oh, yeah, here. It's the advanced cores and stuff. Here's your gravity generator, etc., etc. Which that's pretty cool. And then hydroponics up here. Oh, okay. This must be hydroponics. So, okay, there you go. So, I guess you just replace these or whatever. Yeah, there you go. That's a lot of hydroponic room, too, up here, which is really nice. It's like, this is only one little side of the station. It's a huge, you know. Now, look how big this place is. Isn't this huge? Like, ridiculous. It's awesome. I love it. Look at this. I like the idea that you could just walk up top here and kind of see everything. Yeah, so it looks like the gravity generator doesn't actually cover the whole station. So you're going to have to place another one, I guess. I'm actually surprised they didn't have another one in here. So more hydroponics? Yeah. 
So there's multiple, at least, hydroponics that I can tell. Oh yeah, this is hydroponics and this is hydroponics. Okay. Oh, this one shouldn't be on, to be fair. There you go. Doesn't matter, but it's just like eh, a waste of energy. But yeah, so there's hydroponics in here, hydroponics over here. That's sweet. So you either get the view of the, like, look at on this side, you either get the awesome view of the planet here, which, I mean, it is a friggin' awesome view. Or on this side, you get the view of the star here. Which, once again, awesome freaking view, if you ask me, so. I think it's a really cool place. So you got apparently a brig. What about up here? I didn't go this way yet. Medical shop. Oh, okay, medical stuff and whatnot. Okay. Cool. We got like all these little side rooms and they have offices and stuff like that. So lots of random stuff you can find around here. That's all, obviously. Cool. Nice. Okay. And then what about on this one? So we're at the top of this one here. I think this is the, the brig or whatever, the jail. Oh, yeah. That's kind of cute. They even get a little washroom. You want to role play in here? <laughs> cool. Okay. Which one is this supposed to be? It's a lot of free space in here. I think that's exactly what it is. I think this is free space for whatever you want it to do later on. That is so cool. So, yeah, lots of room on this thing, obviously. So, yeah, it doesn't look like this one's actually in use for anything, really. Oops. Oh, upgrade space. Shield upgrade, cargo containers. I see. More generators here. Uh, is this an upgrade space up top then? I guess not in here because you can't really I guess no I guess you could fit you know shield generators. Oh shield like yeah the I guess it already has a shield upgrade. Yeah shield upgrades or cargo containers. Yeah yeah no that makes sense I guess yeah. That actually does make sense. Cool. Let's see if our ship will fit in here. I mean that ship is oh, it has a really good shape to it so it might. I mean it's not really meant to put a big ship like this into it but I just like thought it will like I mean it has a huge ass amount of space why not we try it right so now we should look for our base on the planet here. Harvin, where are you? There we go and then we gotta turn this into us I guess starting base. Oh, waypoint please. It's probably on the other side right now or something horrible. Well, oh, actually, it's really close by right now. So let's go ahead. And uh, I guess we could go this way. I should have gone in front, but whatever. I decided to fly this way, so we're going to do it this way. It's the way of things. Whee! So let's go to the Haven base first, actually. This new base shouldn't be too hard to find. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to go get our hydrogen and might as well grab some oxygen off here, but then we can make fuel here and uh, it'll have more storage. The The problem with the hydrogen, it's extremely heavy, so you can only get so much uh, fitted on, which is kind of the funny part of it. But And I brought a bunch more uh, fuel cells so I can fill these up so that way we don't have to ever worry about them too much. So Looks pretty much the same as always really over here, I think. Okay, oops. It doesn't really matter too much. I'll just bring this, swing this over like this. There you go. So like, yeah, you're going to come out, right? It's like, okay, we're going to come out on the right side. This is where this, this ship throws you off, okay? So we're going to come out of the right side. 
um, not a problem. Let's let the ship relax here. Um, and you're, you're like, okay, so we're going to go the right side, but see how we're facing backwards. So you always have to realize that it's like, okay, now we can go the right side. I don't know why it is that way. I just know it is that way. So, okay. And then, uh, let's hook up to this. So, uh, material one, I guess. Sure. Why not? Oh, I should probably do it on here. Um, there you go. So, uh, material one, there you go. So these guys, oh, and I should probably put the fuel cells on there too, to be honest. Okay, Cause that's like not gonna take much of the space anyways. Okay. So yeah, these guys, this is where I went a bit nuts on this, but I think it was worthwhile cause then you don't have to touch this as often and you know, this is going to produce a lot. So there's your hydrogen and then you got this guy here and then it'll, you just want to make sure you fill it up to the top. That way you don't have to come back here for a long time, but there you go. I'm just going to do these one by one and I even turned off. I didn't know if it could create lag for myself or whatever, but I showed, I took off map and then of course I, oops, I gave Togi access as well so he can get onto these if he wants to empty them. But anyways, let me go ahead and, you know, do this for like 20 minutes and see what we get. Okay, I ran out of fuel while well, I have a wee bit there, but uh, yeah, so uh, let's see here. So we got material one, like these things weigh, look how heavy hit these weigh, ridiculous amounts. So that's kind of the issue, but uh, got that. And then I got some in the dump two, dump three, and some in the dump one here. So basically lots and lots of hydrogen bottles, which would be great because then I can use those up in space. Now I didn't grab any of these actually, I probably should because um, why not, right? So products, sure, we'll put it in here because we, we won't have anything in the actual space station itself, right, of oxygen. So might as well bring these because you'll, you'll want them anyways, right? So I just thought, yeah, let's do that. We'll just fill this all up till we can't fill it up anymore. I guess these aren't as heavy, obviously. They don't hold as much either, to be fair. But yeah, that should be good. So yeah, this will be uh, enough hydrogen for a while and all that promethium, we can combine them and make the better cells. And even then I can go and get more of those promethium pellets if I need more. But uh, it does double everything. So that's why I, I like them a lot. I mean, it's definitely worth it, that's for sure. So now we gotta find our space station, which might not be as easy. We'll we'll see if we can find it, but I didn't put a waypoint to it, which is not a big deal. But and then I'll be basically going back and forth a bit, bringing supplies from the one station to the new station, and then when Togi shows up, he won't be on a few days. Well. You know, it might be longer than that, but you know, like uh, real life days, I might record a couple episodes in a day, right? But uh, basically, uh, the weather is very horrifying for him right now. Um, really, really freaking hot, so um, it's just not enjoyable to play games right now. And you know, so he'll be spending his time staying cold basically and cool. And where he lives, he doesn't have air conditioning, it's not uh, a normal thing to to have AC where he lives, or they call them air cons, I guess. There, but yeah, so he is just gonna survive the, the weekend and a few days, and then yeah, he'll go from there. So, so we are gonna go and figure out where our I see it kind of on here it's on the other side of the planet right now so we're just kind of coasting on the other side and hoping we get there apparently there's a bundle what is it pay blah, blah blah xp I'd love to get myself the new RPG maker but it's so expensive I might have to look into this see if it has it so like an RPG maker bundle so oh that is so it right there There you go. We need to get like hundreds of these spaces, same ones, just like surrounding the whole <laughs> 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 
haven and it's just like a, a i i said to togi like you know because he's like oh you made another you know ship and blah 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 and all this right and i was thinking well what we can do is our abandoned ones we'll just start making like a debris ring around haven <laughs> uh, oh yeah so we were gonna try this before it might just be a little too oh it's pretty damn close oh my goodness there you go. So it fits inside. Question is, is it fully in there? I'm just curious if it, oh my goodness. It looks like it, yeah, it looks like it does actually fit in fully. Now you have to remember we didn't set it to the, the right thing here, so we should probably do that. But, uh, yeah, that actually literally fits in completely, which is kind of crazy. Got to set to our group here. Probably why I wouldn't let me dock on it. Okay. Oh, where is that? Oh, right here. Like, I've never come in this way before, so I wasn't sure. This is set to me as well, right? Yeah. Might not be uh, possible to do that. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, well, it's all right. There you go. That's cool. So this whole freaking ship fits in. I think that's so freaking cool, though. That an entire ship fits inside of here. I think that's kind of ridiculous. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, slightly sticking out, but that's fine. You could always tuck it in if you want. I guess room for upgrades potentially. I haven't really paid attention much to the ship, to be fair, but yeah. So there you go. Um, the only downside is that it's not organized on this. Well, it's not a big deal. I mean, this you should organize it yourself, but that's what it looks like right now. But yeah, if you go click these, these are all like going to be in the 300s, right? Yeah, so lots of lots and lots of space here. So basically, you just stir it off, and you, you dump these into here, and then you, you move on to the next one. So um, that gives you an idea how much it holds. So... There you go. And then two, I guess. And then we'll find three itself. They you should do them zero three, but that's the vanilla thing, I think. It's not like the person actually named it that way, right? But you should really name them zero one, zero two kind of thing. Uh, that way you don't have those uh, messy issues as much. So we go find four here. There you go. Did we put any elsewhere? Or is that it? I feel like we had some somewhere else, but maybe fuel, products, materials, one, two, dump one. Ah, uh, here we go. I was like, I thought I had a bit more. Okay, so that's four, and then we can go to five. There you go. Excellent. And then, yeah, you're going to want to, I don't know how much of this we can actually get into here. Uh, let's go to number one and I guess start with it. You can get actually three of them in there. Oh, that's not too bad. Okay, so one, two, three. There you go. Three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, and then I guess you could try to put more in there, or at least till it, yeah, it takes another one, so why not? Oh, not quite. Why did that one take, oh, because that container's slightly bigger, okay. Three, and then four, and then five. Okay. It doesn't really matter at that point. 
Okay, and then, yeah, let's go to the station here. So this probably takes a lot of oxygen, I'm guessing. Actually, I don't know if that's a lot. That's for itself. Let's go to wherever we put it. There you go. No, it doesn't actually take an insane amount, but it's, I mean, it's not bad. It's just I was expecting it to be a little bit more crazy, but then again, even the fuel isn't, right? Like, I'm pretty sure that big ship of ours holds like three times the fuel, but it's not meant to be that either, right? I think that's kind of the point, so... There you go. Put you guys in there. So, um, let's see here. So, like, the battery should be doing pretty good here if they're not already full. But uh, I think it has batteries. Does it have batteries? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong ship here. Am I on that ship right now? Oh, yeah, I am on that ship. That's why. I hit P, uh, P and I was confused. Like, where's the batteries? Where's things? So, they're still charging up, I guess, right now. I'm guessing that's the batteries. Is there battery? Oh, yeah, 6%. So I guess it'll take a while. Plus, we weren't in space at the time, right? But, yeah. Cool. You can turn on the oxygen now. So that'll use up some of the oxygen because it's a huge space, right? I guess it's, like, based on volume or something. But actually, that was very little. So I guess it does hold a lot of oxygen. But oxygen is not, you know, it's not used as much as, you know, I guess you'd think. And then there's the constructor. So you got a lot of advanced constructors. So what we can do is we could set this to, for example, 1. And then have its output to be, I don't know, 10 for now. And then turn it on. And then... Oh, crap. You need steel plates on there. <laughs> oh, I forgot all about the steel plates. So I got to uh, juggle this a bit more because, you know, honestly, I forgot all about the steel plates. But uh, that'll be something I can do off camera. But, uh, yeah, I'll get a lot of those hydrogen uh, or whatever container or fuel cells made. And that way I have lots uh, of fuel and don't have to worry as much. Uh, and then I'm going to bring, I'm going to start shipping things over here. So I think that will be kind of important. Uh, and the thing is I have warp on here. Not warp, sorry, a teleporter on here. So um, I could just leave this here and then go and fetch another big ship and kind of slowly bring them all over here. I think this will be our, our main base for the future. So more storage we don't have to worry about. And uh, I think it's a nicer view. So... Anyways, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, like, and we'll see wonderful people next time. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.